Today is snake hump day. So let's see what we're cooking today. And uh, hopefully we get something out of it eventually in the future um, for season 2024. What's up YouTube? So you can see behind me I have the adult rack and I kind of just want to go through what pairings I already have going on, what pairings I hope to get, and some pairings that I kind of put it together last minute and we'll see what happens. And um, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it is what it is. So as of this year, I have at least nine or ten pairings that have already had visual locks and some that are on three or four locks already. And then I still have, let me count, and I still have 20 snakes that I haven't paired yet. And by 20, I mean 20 females. I, the males are always going to be alternating with females. But 20 females that I still haven't paired this year. I was supposed to limit myself to 20 clutches. I had 10 clutches for 2023. So I was trying to do twice as much just to see how it went. And uh, it looks like I'm going to have three times as much. That's obviously if everything goes. There's a lot of females that you never know if they're going to even go or not. So you kind of just roll the dice at those points and kind of figure out what you're going to do after the fact. Like then in 2023, I had three females that didn't go. One of those females reabsorbed, like, I think January or something like that. And I started pairing her again in like June, July. And she is, she was very receptive. She's already had six or seven locks with that same male. And as of right now, she is due to lay sometime early 2024. So if things go, awesome. I still don't have an ultrasound machine. That is my fault. I've been spending money on things that I probably didn't need to spend money, like a bunch of different snakes. I should have got an ultrasound machine, but it is what it is. Saw a good deal on some snakes, got some snakes. That's just how it goes. So obviously from now on, it's going to be saving for an ultrasound machine, just an ultrasound machine and nothing else. As of right now, I am at capacity of adults. I have no more room for adults. So with that said, let me run through some of the pairings that I've already done and some of the pairings that I hope, that I definitely hope to hit. Um, fingers crossed anyways. So first, I'm going to start right off with the Hypo Pied stuff. Let's see what they're doing. Nothing yet. I think they're just courting at this point. I did spray off a little bit just to kind of mess in here, see if they would do anything. So this pairing is a Killer Blast OD Hypo Het Pied to a Pied Het Hypo. And um, obviously we want to get some Hypo Pieds. The next pairing for Hypo Pieds is kind of exactly the same pairing, just this big old female. She's also a Pied Het Hypo and the same male, so we're gonna get the same things, just trying to hit the same um, pairings over and over to get the most chances of having the animal that I want. Um, that's the Pied Het Hypo stuff. Let's go up next to this pinstripe pied head exanthic male. Pinstripe pied head exanthic. He produces my exanthic stuff, at least for 2023. Then I have him paired to a pastel that's in shed. Um, but sometimes they pair when they're in shed or not. She actually should be out of shed soon because she's been in shed for like a week. Um, so pastel exanthic head pied. So we want to get some more double visuals out of this pairing. Obviously, that's the goal. Now to show you what else I have planned for the pinstripe, exa uh, pinstripe pied head exanthic, uh, let's go up to the top. These are snakes that I recently just got. She is in shed. She is a exanthic, 66% head pied. She has very good markers. She is a pastel exanthic, 66% head pied. No markers. We're going to get both of these shed tested, and we'll see what happens. Give them a couple months, and then look for signs of uh, building follicles. Go back down to the bottom here. Let's see who's next. Lavender albino. So this is going to be a pastel lavender albino het pied, and this is a pied het lavender. So this is the same pairing that I did this year. Um, she's already It's already been like six months or so, so might as well try it out again. And uh, obviously the goal is to get some dream sickles. The next female, she's not there yet. She's about 100 grams shy. Is this pinstripe pied het lavender albino who is coming out of shed looks like. And she is going to be paired to that pastel lavender het pied. 
And the other one, this is the one that's had six locks already. This is a, just a normal double head. She's already kind of plump. We'll obviously keep looking for signs of ovulation. But this is just a normal double head going to that pastel lavender head pie. Next up, we have the fire pastel pied head exanthic. And he is right now with a leopard pinstripe leopard pastel pinstripe exanthic het pied and the next female for him is going to be this super past this is a possible super pinstripe exanthic het pied she is a proven breeder I you got most of my I got all of my exanthic stuff from her this year so let's I think that's the last one for the exanthic stuff nope actually it's not the last one is this super pastel spider clown het vpi xanthic and she is already ready to breed she just i haven't started pairing her yet because she hasn't really been showing signs of you know building follicles getting over to the cool side she's eating very regularly so we'll just see what happens and uh, hopefully she gets ready to breed here soon and i can start pairing her to that firefly uh pied Het VPI Xanthic. The next one is the Pinstripe Albino Het Pied Male. He's being paired to an Inchy. Actually, he's shedding right now. But he is being paired to an Inchy Pied Het Albino. Uh, this year they gave me an Inchy Albino Pied and a bunch of other nice stuff. So we'll see what happens. She was actually 50% Het Albino before I paired her this year and she proved out. And then the next two are practically the same thing. This is a, she just said, this is a pied head albino. And then the other one is also a pied head albino. So getting a little bit of the same thing just to kind of get what I was going for originally. And then we'll start moving the projects around. The next one is a banana inchy pastel clown head pied. Let's see what he's doing getting her moving that's good so putting her or putting him to an inchy pastel pinstripe het clown het pied and then the next one for him is going to be down here at the bottom she hasn't got up to size yet she's still getting there but this is a leopard pied het clown hopefully she gets up to size soon and we can start pairing him to her as well and then for him and because he's a visual clown i've been thinking about putting him to some het clown females as well and this girl is in shed but i just sprayed her off a little bit she is a banana pastel het clown female and then also possibly this inchy pastel visual clown just to get some more visual clowns and here's where it gets tricky i have this pastel cl pastel clown het desert ghost that i've been pairing to this inchy spot nose od het clown to obviously get some visual clowns that are 50% Hat Desert Ghost, and then we'll just shed test the stuff. I've also been thinking about pairing him to the Inchy Pastel Clown female, or pairing the Inchy Leopards Super Pastel Hat Clown Hat Desert Ghost, and using them to create some future breeders for the future. Uh, obviously, that's why they're called future breeders. We'll see what happens. Where are we at now? Banana Yellow Belly Hat Tri Stripe. Let's see what you're doing. I'm pretty sure he's already almost locked up. Just interrupting him at this point. He locks up within a couple hours every single time and always for several hours. So he is being paired to a blade head tri-stripe right now. And he has already locked up with several other snakes. First is this fire head tri-stripe. Locked up three times already. Then we have this Banana Fire 66% hat tri-stripe that has very good markers. Locked up three times already. Then we have this Pinstripe hat tri-stripe. And they've locked once already. And then we go up to the top here. Let's see what, oh, they're close. All right, so we have a banana inchy, possible super inchy, possible leopard, 
pied male to a banana hat pied female. He will also be locking up with, hopefully, uh, with this, where is she at? With this pied female, just regular pied, just to see what, what he is. Because obviously if all the babies come out inchy, then he'll also be super inchy. And if the babies come out leopard, then he is a leopard. And also we'll be pairing him to this pastel pied female right here. I'm, I don't know yet. She might be leopard. I haven't really figured it out. I don't like not knowing. So we'll see what happens when we get the snake uh, the babies out of them together, and also we have this last one. This is the last male that we're pairing this year, as of right now. So this is the Inchy Pinstripe Pied, and the male is back here is a Mahogany Pied. There looks like they're real close to locking up already. We'll see what happens, but Mahogany Pied is also going to be paired too. He's also going to be paired to this female. He's already been locking up with this female. This is a banana inchy hat pied. And then the last female, if I can get her up to size fast enough, is this mahogany pinstripe hat pied. And then some honorable mentions that I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with yet are the super OD YB pied. She's shedding, of course. Everybody's shedding in this video. And then the Super OD Pied. And she was actually just in the cool side for several days. So she's probably ready to start pairing. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them yet. Let's just see what happens. Um, I haven't really thought about it too much. I don't know if I want to pair the clown male that's Hep Pied to them. Or if I want to do uh, OD, the OD Hypo Hep Pied. I think that's probably the best bet just to get some super ODs that are also visual pied and also het pied. I don't know yet. We will see. Um, it's really hard to figure out what I want to pair with these because I only have one no OD male and these are also just a single gene pied or technically not a single gene, but this one's technically a single gene just in super form. This one's a super OD YB. So just a pied though. Um, so anything that I pair with it is going to be either het pied or visual pied, so I haven't really decided yet. Um, obviously, regardless if I do the clown het pied or the hypo het pied, all the babies are going to be het for something else, and I just have to decide what I want them to be het for. Uh, do I want them to be het for hypo, or do I want them to be het for clown? Obviously, the clown stuff is hot and popping right now, but the value is depreciating a whole lot, and the hypo stuff actually is picking up traction, and people are getting more into the hypo pied stuff, so we'll see what happens. But it doesn't hurt to have more hypopides. And I like the hypopide stuff. Obviously, I like the clown pied stuff too. But I think the hypopide stuff is underrated. So we'll see what happens. And I might decide to go with that male. Because he doesn't have that really, really that many females to go to this year. And that just might be what I do is put two more females that are super OD with him. And obviously get a bunch of super OD babies that are pied het hypo or double het. We'll see. Um, so that's it. So, if you made it this far into the video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything that I put out in the future. As always, peace.